It's time to hop on County Road 12, and tonight we're going airborne. We'll meet a young man from Enterprise who's soaring to new heights to solve the Rubik's Cube. WSFA 12 News anchor Judd Davis has the story out along County Road 12. Remember this crazy cube from the 1980s? Well, since then, Mr. Rubik's has gained some friends from the Baby Cube to Big Daddy Cube. There are all kinds. And Adam Morgan loves them all. He learned from his dad. About a year and a half, my dad brought it home. So he taught me how to do it again. It's just been a hobby ever since. He's lightning fast. Average around 22 seconds. Mm, I don't know. I think we need some proof. Go. Uh, there's many ways to do it. You can solve one layer at a time. But the most efficient way, I think, is, which is the way I do it, I solve a white cross on the bottom, then I solve the bottom two layers at the same time, and then I solve the last layer by itself. <laughs> 24 seconds. Pretty good. But I think Adam can do better. In fact, he wanted to take his Rubik's Act to a whole new level. I've always wanted to go skydiving. I was like, well, I solve it in around 20 seconds. We have about 50 seconds of free fall. So why not solve a Rubik's Cube in free fall? Eh, why not? And we can show you exactly what happened. The skydiving crew brought a video camera along with them. And amazingly, his biggest fear wasn't falling 120 miles an hour from 10,000 feet. I mean, I planned this out like eight months beforehand. So many people know about this. If I don't solve this, it's just, how am I going to tell them? Too late to bail out now. It's almost jump time. Now ready. Time to prove it. The shoot opens 50 seconds from now, but with cheeks flapping and the ground getting bigger by the second, this isn't so easy. I jumped out and it's just right away the wind starts hitting me and I'm sitting there trying to solve it and I'm like, mm -hmm. immediately I knew this was a lot harder than I was expecting. The wind pushing against my hands just made it a completely new element. Time's almost up. The shoot opens in five seconds. I saw that it, showed it to the camera. He was going crazy. Let's see Mr. Rubik's try that. A smooth landing, some high fives, so now what? I'm open to new ideas, but I don't know of anything else I can do. Until then, he'll keep on spinning and always have his Rubik's ripcord as a reminder. In Enterprise with photojournalist Jeff Harrison, I'm Judd Davis at Long County Road 12. I just want to know how he kept his focus while falling. Well, if you have any ideas for Adam or if you have a story idea, email us at countyroad12 at wsfa.com.